clue. Annie McClue. She simply would not flush the loo. Her parents didn't know what to do. The girl refused to flush the loo. She disregarded and ignored a note they nailed upon the door. It was her main domestic goal to leave a growler in the bowl and shout as loud as loud could be. That great big thing was done by me. Yeah! And there the dreadful thing would stay for sometimes up to half a day until her mummy home from work would go to where the thing would lurk with rubber gauntlets and a mask to undertake the dreadful task with steely nerve and mission clear to flush until it disappeared to flush and prod and prod and flush and flush and prod and prod and flush with all her power for sometimes up to half an hour until the day, the fateful day, when Auntie Morag came to stay. She had a vicious little dog named Captain Bly, and she always made poor Mummy cry. And halfway through her lovely tea, she said, Please, may I use the lavatory? Last time I came I was discreet, but I had to clean the dirty seat. I know that hygiene here is bad, so I keep detergent in my bag. It's a shiny fresh thing. It's a piney fresh thing. And it makes the bees buzz and it makes the birds sing and reminds me of mountains and wide open spaces where children are jockeys and, and crocodile races. And with that to the loo she went with Captain Bly and Fowl intent. No sooner had she shut the door than there came forth a dreadful roar, a high-pitched yelping. Oh, oh, and then a cry of what they thought was why, oh, why? Oh, Annie, no, her mummy said. You flushed the loo, that's what you said. And Annie said, <laughs> I thought I had. But by this time, the signs were bad. First, Captain Bly, and then close behind Aunt Morag staggered as if blind. Out of the door, onto the street, onto the bus in quick retreat, her voice rang out for all to hear. Please, please, get me out of here. The smell, the smell, the dreadful pong. It's wrong, it's wrong, and it's awfully strong. Well, Annie thought she'd caused a howler, leaving such a lurking growler, such a stinker in the loo. She knew not what to say or do, but quickly did she seem to find her mummy didn't seem to mind. Oh well, said Annie, she'll be fine. Now, which nice piece of cake was mine? Annie McClue, Annie McClue, she simply would not. Flush the loo.